I'm a professor working in the Naval Architecture Marine Engineering Department at the University of Michigan. And I have a research lab uh, named Real-Time Adaptive Control Engineering Lab. Uh, we are primarily working on um, optimization and real-time simulation for dynamic systems that uh, apply to electric vehicle and electric ships. We have several centers uh, that works uh, that work for the technology development and uh, um, uh, methodology development to address the challenges that uh, related to um, energy environment. Um, more specifically, uh, I'm involved in uh, working on the energy management of the shipboard power system and for the hybrid electric, ship, uh, electric vehicle. Uh, so the, the technologies that we are working on involves uh, vehicle electrification, introducing um, power, electric power systems um, uh, onto the ships and onto, the, uh, onto vehicles. Uh, to enabling that, um, control and optimization are critical technologies because uh, we ha now we have to manage different power plants and coordinate them uh, in the dynamic setting and to achieve uh, optimal efficiency and to achieve reliable and safe operation and to extend their uh, life cycle. Um, so we have a team of uh, professors and students uh, working on different aspects and try to make that a reality. In particular, I am working on developing efficient, computationally efficient algorithms uh, for uh, situations where you have limited computation power and you have different constraints uh, and you have fast sampling time. So that's why I'm interested in this conference uh, where real-time technology is the center and the focus theme. What are the advantage of digital simulation compared to analog mockups to set some test and validation things and to develop new algorithms, new efficient uh, new efficiency algorithms? Well, digital simulation is the way to go and uh, uh, I don't remember the last time I did the analog simulation and this is what this generation of those students and the researchers are they are almost taking for granted that everything if you are doing simulation uh, it's uh, going to be uh, you know digital, especially in the university research setting, uh, this is much more flexible and more uh, realistic and uh, uh, it can have uh, uh, better, I mean, the, uh, in terms of cost effectiveness, I just think that's just a natural solution. Uh, for us, uh, with the real time being the main focus. Uh, sometimes, yes, analog system uh, has been coming up as one other option. But given the technology development in the, you know, in the uh, digital simulator, um, the decision actually has been easy for us. So that's uh, I mean, the, the advantage is it's flexible, it's, you know, it can be updated, upgraded easily, and the students are tuned to it, uh, so it's just a natural choice for us.